Shepard says his wife's still unconscious, too. Oh, what'd you do with the kid? Oh, he was in peds overnight. Just so social services didn't haul him off. His grandmother comes today. Oh, I thought I was going to see you last night. Oh, I got caught up with the patient. Oh, that's too bad. I put on that T-shirt you said I'm not allowed to wear when you were arguing because it makes you forget what your point was. Oh, I can't believe I missed it. I can throw it on again tonight. I mean, why is he still out? You said that he would wake up when you reverse this hypothermia. Yeah, I said he might. Or he might eight hours later or eight days later. If it's any more than that, we have a problem, but not until then. You talked to Russell about it? He knows about the eight days thing. <sighs> Maybe you should just check in with him. You said yourself that he's not supervising you that much lately. There's no news. If I go to him with this information, he'll think I've lost my mind. Well, then he can come talk to me. Still not awake? Oh, uh, no, not yet. I gave him a bolus of D50. We'll see if that helps. Why didn't you talk to me first? Because I talked to Russell about it like you asked me to. But you knew that I was concerned about this case. You really want me to have three highly trained surgeons supervising one man's recovery? It shouldn't be news to you that we work as a team at this hospital. Uh, yes, and the entire team is helping you save Syria from itself. I came up with like 14 ways of doing thoracotomy procedures without a chest train. I didn't have time for groupthink on perfectly straightforward post-op care. Tomorrow, you, Russell, and myself will round on Paul together. Right. Are you serious? Uh, oh, Dr. Hunt, I need to speak with you. So, you play Owen's oh, been acting crazy. I think this is why. Kids make you crazy. Yeah. Kind of cute, though. Dr. Gray, 